All right, I have a question that kind of came to mind. Um, okay, um, I'm interested in the metafiction. Like, why do you think Shakespeare, kind of, as author of this story, is is dropping little metafictional lines within Act One? Where, like, what's that do for the play? What's the metafiction do for the story up to this point? When we're talking about, do you have a? Yeah, yeah. Like. I guess it kind of makes Hamlet seem more insane. Okay. So. So kind of building that insanity. And yeah. That's really. Just little by little. Okay. Maybe not just insanity, but that he's like the only really smart, open-minded person in the whole play. That everyone else is just kind of, let's follow King Claudius and not do anything about it. So his rejection of reality yeah. is kind of the most rational thing. Because the reality of Denmark yeah. is Rejectable. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want your your stepbrother marrying you. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> <laughs> this incest that yeah, everyone's okay yeah. with. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, any, any? 